टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज सोबेनियस सीरीज सोल्यूशन फॉर होमोजीनियस सेकेंड ऑर्डर लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन राइट एंड एज वी डिस्कस इन लास्ट वीडियो द केस इज वेन वी गॉट टू डिस्टिंग रूट एंड देवर डिफरिंग बाय अ नॉन इंटीजर वैल्यू राइट एंड द सेकेंड केस वॉज वेन द रूट्स वर इक्वल एंड द थर्ड केस इज वेरी सिमिलर टू द केस नंबर ए वेन वी गॉट डिस्टिंग रूट बट दे डिफर बाय एन इंटीजर वैल्यू राइट सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग दैट केस इन दिस वीडियो केस Three. If the roots of indicial equation they were denoted by R1 and R2, right? The roots of indicial equation R1 and R2 they are not equal, and their difference is an integer, right? So this case is very similar to case number one. Uh, where we got distinct roots but they were differing by a non integer value and in that case the solution was given by the solution uh, was given by y is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 where this y1 was nothing but y1 was actually the solution the, the solution y evaluated at r1 and y2 was the solution y evaluated at r2 so this was the solution for case number 1 right <clears throat> but here uh, you can also use this solution however this is also correct it means that the case number 3 is similar to case number 1 uh, with only one exception uh, here uh, the difference is an integer right so what happens when the difference is an integer value uh, this situation gives rise uh, to another situation when uh, this solution y or you can say the coefficients of y a1 a2 a3 and so on they any one of them they become indeterminate at one of these values of r right i will write that here in this case uh the coefficient one of the coefficient a i right and i is greater than or equal to 1 right uh becomes indeterminate indeterminate right you will see that in numerical that one of the coefficient uh, a a1 a2 a3 and so on any one of them becomes indeterminate at any one of these values of r right i will say that indeterminate at r star say i am assuming that the value of r at which the coefficient becomes indeterminate is r star we are we are denoting that uh, value of r by r star right then uh, y is equal to c1 y r1 plus c2 i will say it r1 star and c2 y r2 right this is my r1 star at this value of r Uh, the coefficient becomes indeterminate i have uh, put a star on it right then this will be the solution right then this is a solution then is the solution but uh, this solution y evaluated at r2 is contained in this solution y evaluated at r1 star right we'll see that in numerical but y r2 is contained in y r1 star right then there is no point to write this solution because this solution will be contained in this solution so this will be the more general solution so there is no point to write this solution this solution will work right then y is equal to uh, y at r1 star is the complete solution right we'll uh, try to uh, prove this fact this fact uh, this thing i will put a hash here right we'll be uh, uh, trying to verify this fact in my next example okay so in my first example i will be going with this right but after proving proving this fact that this is indeed the complete solution we actually don't need to write this solution the solution for r2 uh, that is actually not needed but i will 
prove this fact first using the first example example number one solve the differential equation is x square y double dash minus uh, 2x y dash plus 2y equal to 0 about the point x equal to 0 obviously right first I have to uh, check that this uh, differential equation um, the values of px and qx the value of px is minus 2 over x and qx is 2 over x square right are not analytic at x equal to 0 you can see that both of these functions are becoming infinity at this x equal to 0 right but if you multiply your p with x that will give you minus 2 and multiplying your qx with x square that will give you 2 r analytic at x equal to 0 uh, so it uh, indicates that x equal to 0 is a regular singular point x equal to 0 is a regular singular point right so i can use the frobenius series solution because uh, this point is a regular singular point right so i will start with the frobenius series and that is let y is equal to summation uh, a n x to the power n plus r and it starts from 0 to infinity and in expanded version we can write it as x to the power r a naught plus a1 x plus a2 x square and so on and remember that this a naught cannot be equal to 0 right and now I will uh, find the derivatives of this y and I will plug those values here right this implies the first derivative of y will be a summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n n plus r x to the power n plus r minus 1 right and you know that uh, if you differentiate this y this uh, range is unaffected right because this is a Frobenius series and if you differentiate it again you will get summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n times n plus r n plus r minus 1 multiplied by x to the power n plus r minus 2 right so plugging these derivatives and y here in my differential equation i will get this gives x square multiplied by y double dash so you have to multiply this with x square uh, that will produce summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n n plus r n plus r minus 1 x to the power n plus r remember that on multiplying any derivative with the any power of x does not change the range of summation right in case of Frobenius series and second term is minus 2 times x multiplied by y dash if you multiply this by x this will become summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n n plus r x to the power n plus r right and the last term is twice of y so that will produce 2 times summation n equal to 0 to infinity and a n x to the power n plus r equal to 0 right so after getting this uh, relationship uh, we have to equate the least powers of x and generally they are x to the power r right uh, to get the indicial equation right so i will you can see that the least power of x is x to the power r if you put n equal to 0 you will get x to the power r and that will be obtained from here and here also right so in this example all of the three terms will be giving the least power of x that is x to the power r so equate least powers of x that is x to the power r right and from here you can see that you have to put n equal to 0 to get x to the power r so that will give you a naught multiplied by r multiplied by r minus 1 and from this, this second term you will get a naught r and third term will give you 2 a naught equal to 0 right and if you take a naught common you will get r square minus r minus 2 r minus 3 r plus 2 equal to 0 right 
and again you have to use that fact that this a naught is not equal to zero but this product is zero so it means that this factor should be equal to zero and that is actually our initial equation right so r square minus 3r plus 2 equal to zero as you know that this a naught is not equal to zero so on solving this initial equation i will get two values of r mm, one and two so r equal to one and two right okay right now this is a decisive step you can see that the roots are distinct but they are differing by an integer value right this is different from case number a uh, the roots are differing by an integer value right but we have to be careful at this point because we have to uh, make a proper choice of r star r star or r1 star you call it r star or r1 star uh, is that value where is that where one of the coefficient becomes indeterminate right so i have to make a choice after few steps i will put that star after few steps i don't know what, uh, whether one is r star or this is r star i have to check that right Okay, these are root. This is a check step, and I will put a note here. Note uh, R1 is not equal to R2. It means that they both are different, right? And they are differing by an integer. R1 minus R2 is equal to how much? You see that minus one, an integer, right? So it indicates that I have to follow case number three. In this case, right? Okay. Now what I will do, I will equate. Uh, yeah, again an important point. If I equate the highest powers of x, and you can see that the highest visible power of x is x to the power n plus r in all of these terms. And if you equate uh, that coefficient of that power, uh, you will not get any recurrence relation. Why? Because you can see that all of these summations are containing the same kind of term x to the power n plus r and this is an alarming situation that you you would not not be able to get a recurrence relation because all powers of x visible powers of x are same right so you will not be going to obtain any recurrence relation because recurrence relation is obtained whenever you have terms like a n plus 1 a n plus 2 and a n right in this case Every term will be of same nature, a n, a n, a n. So no recurrence relation will be obtained actually, right? So in this case, when you are not able to get a recurrence relation, what you will do? You will just equate the next highest power. This is the least power. Another power will be x to the power r plus one. And then x to the power r plus two, and so on. This is the only option because you are not getting any recurrence relation due to the fact that. All of the three summations are containing the same powers of x, right? Okay. So equating the next equate powers uh, of the next power x to the power r plus one. Sorry, equate coefficients coefficients of this x to the power r plus one, right? And in order to get x to the power r plus one, you have to put n equal to one here, right? So that will give you a one. 1 plus r and this will become r minus twice a1 1 plus r and this will become twice of a1 equal to 0 right and again you can take a1 common and this will become r square plus r minus 2r that will be minus r minus 2 plus 2 equal to 0 okay and that will be a1 r r minus 1 equal to 0 right this is very uh, delicate step right be careful at this step i want to obtain the value of a1 actually right i need the values of a1 a2 a3 and so on and then after getting those values i will plug those values here and i will get the solution right but at this point you have two values of r one is one and another value is two right be careful at this point and this coefficient a1 if you put r equal to 2 here then you will get 2 times of a1 equal to 0 and you will get a1 equal to 0 right i will write those cases uh, so a1 or a1 equal to we have two choices if r equal to 2 if you put r equal to 2 here you will get twice of a1 equal to 0 you will get a1 equal to 0 
so the value of a1 will be 0 if you have r equal to 2 right but what happens if you put r equal to 1 this is another value right you put r equal to 1 here you will get a1 multiplied by 0 equal to 0 or a1 equal to 0 upon 0 this 0 can be taken here a1 equal to 0 over r into r minus 1 and that will give you 0 by 0 form if you put r equal to 1 right and that integrates that 0 by 0 form is indeterminate form right so this is very uh, important step uh, to decide what is r star actually what was our r star r star should be that value of r at which one of the coefficient becomes indeterminate and you can see that that value is r equal to 1 so i have to put here r star right this will be my r star right okay uh, fine <clears throat> now what i will do i will obtain another coefficient uh, equate the next powers of x and that is x to the power r plus 2 the first right. term will be a 2 and i think uh, 2 plus r right and 1 plus r from here you will get minus 2 times 2 plus r and from here you will get plus 2 right equal to 0 okay then a2 and this will become uh, r square plus uh, 3r and minus 2r that will become plus r and plus 2 4 that will be cancelled equal to 0 right again you have to consider both values of r if you put r equal to 1 right that will become twice of a2 equal to 0 that will give you a2 equal to 0 but if you put r equal to 2 you will get 6 a2 equal to 0 again you will get a2 equal to 0 so here you have uh, a distinct value of a2 right different from this case in this case you are getting different values of a1 but in this case you are getting a single value of a2 uh, whether r is equal to 1 or 2 there is uh, no problem right so we can write it as a2 is equal to 0 for all values of r whether it is 1 or 2 right and similarly if you equate go on equating the next highest powers of x, x every coefficient will be 0 i have to show one of them equate next highest coefficient coefficient of x to the power r plus 3 in that case you will be getting like this a3 uh, 3 plus r and this will become 2 plus r minus 2 3 plus r plus 2 equal to 0 and that will produce a3 this will become r square of 5r minus 2r plus 3r 6 6 okay 6 minus 6 0 plus 2 okay right and if you put any of these values of r uh, you will get a3 equal to 0 in both cases right or a3 equal to 0 for all values of r right so all of the next coefficients will be equal to 0 right similarly you can show that a4 equal to a5 and all coefficients will become 0 right and now i will plug these coefficients in my solution this solution right or this solution right okay uh, yeah okay where's my y this is my y i will let this equation number one right so therefore y equal to c1 y r star and that is equal to 1 and c2 times y the second value is 2 r equal to 2 right and uh, what i will do i will uh, just put these values uh, these coefficients here right first you can see that you have to obtain y when r star equal to 1 so where is my r star this is my r star a naught is not known a1 is equal to indeterminate a1 will be a1 a2 is 0 a3 is 0 all of the coefficients from a2 onwards are 0 for this right but a0 and a1 will be present in my solution so that will give you c1 times 
a naught yes plus a one x and okay x to the power r was there so c one times x to the power one because the value of r is one right and plus a two x square a two is zero all of the coefficients will be zero right and c two times the solution y evaluated at r equal to two so you have to put r equal to two here you will get x square and a naught plus a1 and you can see that the value of a1 for r equal to 2 is 0 right i am writing the solution for r equal to 2 so be particular at this point you have to choose the value of a1 for the case when r is equal to 2 and that is 0 right so 0 x and all of the values after a2 a3 and a so on a all of a's are 0 right okay so this is your solution right and you can see that uh, finally you can see that if you multiply these two and you add them you can see that the first term will be c1 times a naught that will be a new constant capital a x i will write that capital a x capital a multiplied by x if you multiply these two you will get c1 a1 times x square means the square term x square term and from here you are also getting a square term and those coefficients will be added means we are getting x square from here you are getting x square from here and you can take x square common inside bracket you will be having c1 a1 plus c2 a0 that will be a new constant and that constant will be denoted by capital b x square so this is your complete solution right is solution right in this example i have used this solution this one right right but I'm trying I'm trying to prove that this is the complete solution we don't actually need to write this extra solution this is contained in this solution and we will see that this is contained in this solution you can see that from here right if you see the second solution right you will see that if you multiply these two terms you will get uh, x square a constant multiplied by x square and that is already contained here you can see this term you multiply these two you can you will get constant multiplied by x squared it indicates that this solution is already contained or has already occurred in this solution corresponding to r star so there is actually no need to write this solution right this solution will be the sufficient solution for this differential equation so that's why in the next example i will be using this formula rather y r one star that's it uh, but the important point is that you have to make a proper choice of r star r star is that value for at which one of the one or more coefficients of uh, coefficients a i becomes indeterminate right so this example is a kind of proof that we should use this formula directly right because uh, writing this as solution is correct but this solution is already contained in this solution right so in short we can use this result right okay now i will uh, take another example and uh, i will use that second solution this shortcut solution and uh, uh, and one more thing if you want to uh, see this fact this fact that the second solution is always contained in the solution uh, we can always solve this well, that equation I have rubbed that we can always solve that equation by a uh, Cauchy Euler method because that was Cauchy Euler homogeneous equation. And we know that the theory of this Frobenius series solution is very similar to uh, the Cauchy Euler differential equation, right? So, what I will do, I will try to reprove this fact, right, uh, with the help of that Cauchy Euler solution. Why it happens, it means why it happens that uh, this solution is contained in this solution, right? I will uh, rewrite that differential equation for this question that was actually another approach uh, to verify y is equal to the solution is uh, just uh, y at r star right why this solution is sufficient why uh, we don't actually need to write the second solution right uh, we will try to verify this by the method of cauchy euler equation uh, the equation was x square y double dash and here we had 
minus 2x y dash plus 2y equal to 0. That was our differential equation for example number 1, right? And if I solve this by Cauchy Euler equation, I will write that Cauchy Euler differential equation, right? Uh, you have solved this equation in your last semester, right? By putting x equal to e to the power z or z equal to log x. And you replace these derivatives by d, d minus 1 y and x y dash by d y where this d is the differential operator d by d z, right? <clears throat> then you get the auxiliary equation d d minus 1 minus 2 d plus 2 times y equal to 0 and that gives you auxiliary equation m is square minus 3m plus 2 equal to 0 right and you can see that one important point is that this auxiliary equation is similar to this thing that's called indicial equation right and you will get the values of ma as 1 and 2 the same values as you obtained right and when you write the solution of this Koch Euler homogeneous equation the solution is written as therefore solution is written as y is equal to c1 times e to the power z plus c2 times e to the power 2z right so this is a solution and you replace this e to the power z by x you get y is equal to c1x plus c2x square you can see that the solution is indeed the same solution you obtain from here ax plus bx square this is also cx c1x plus c2x square so this method gives the correct solution it is uh, one thing but what I want to say that I want to say that why this solution is contained in this solution right I am just trying to give the reason using this Cotuler method you studied in the last semester okay so this is a solution right now what I will do I will try to write this solution in this Frobenius series form because what we do in this method Frobenius series sol solution method we always assume that our solution can be written in this form right so I will try to write this solution in that form. What I will do, I can take x common or x square common. There are two choices, right? But I have to take x common. Why? Because taking x common will give you y, x common c1 plus c2 x plus 0x square plus 0x cube and so on. You can see that this becomes the Frobenius series at this point. You can compare this with and this can only be obtained by taking x common you cannot take x square common so the idea is that you have to take the least power of x common right so intuitively uh, we can think that uh, the r star will be the least value of r i can say that however i'm not 100 percent sure but uh, i think that r star will be the least value of r the two r's you obtain at this point the r star will be the least value of r you can see that r star will be equal to one right okay Okay, right. So this is your Frobenius series. Is Frobenius series, and you can see that here we have x to the power one, right? It means that this is your r star, r star equal to one. So Frobenius series for r star equal to one. So that is the reason. That is the reason that solution is indeed the Frobenius series corresponding to the one root only that, that is r star right that proves that we don't actually need to write this solution again right because this solution is contained in this solution right and we can see this fact from this previous analytic method of solving differential equation also uh, the uh, solution was converted into Frobenius series solution but that Frobenius series was corresponding to the only one value of r that is r star so that proves this fact right and now I will take my second example and I will use that shortcut solution y is equal to y evaluated at r star right example number two solve x y double dash plus two y dash plus x y equal to zero right and uh, if you notice that your px and qx are not analytic 
at x equal to 0 this will become 1 I think right you can see that your px is not analytic at x equal to 0 however q is analytic right so in whole you can see that r not not oh, sorry p only p is not analytic p is not analytic at x equal to 0 right but q is equal to 1 that is fine so we cannot say that this is x equal to 0 is a an ordinary point because one of the coefficients px or qx is becoming infinity at that point right so that will be a singular point it is clear that but you can see that if you multiply your x with px with x that will give, become 2 and you should multiply your qx with x square that will become i think uh, x square r analytic at x equal to 0 now they become analytic x p x and x square q x right uh, so x equal to 0 is a regular singular point right and since x equal to 0 is a regular singular point, we can always assume that the solution has the Frobenius series form a n x to the power n plus r and it starts from 0 to infinity. And we know that we have to write its expanded form also x to the power r multiplied with a naught plus a1x, a2x square, and so on. And a naught is not equal to 0, so this will be my equation number 1, right? Now, we'll differentiate it. That will produce summation n equal to 0 to infinity, a n, n plus r, x to the power n plus r minus 1, and my y double dash will be summation a n, n plus r, n plus r minus 1, x to the power n plus r minus 2. And equal to 0 to infinity right so plugging these derivatives and y in my differential equation this gives x multiplied with y double dash so you should multiply this with x that will give you summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n n plus r n plus r minus 1 and x to the power n plus r minus 1 right and two times of y dash where is that y dash yeah two times n equal to 0 to infinity a n n plus r x to the power n plus r minus 1 and then x times of y so you have to multiply this by x so summation n equal to 0 to infinity a n x to the power n plus r plus 1 equal to 0 right now I will equate the least powers of x, that is x to the power r on both sides. Equate least powers of x, that is x to the power r, right? And uh, from here, <coughs> sorry, x to the power r, yeah, no, r minus 1 this time. x to the power r minus 1. This is a very important point again. It is not the case that every time the least power of x is x to the power r. It can be x to the power r minus 1 or x to the power r minus 2 also. Because uh, if you see this summation, if you put n equal to 0, you will get x to the power r minus 1. It ind indicates that the least power is x to the power r minus 1 in all of these terms, right? Because you have to equate the only the least powers of x to get the indicial equation. If you get the, if you equate the next highest highest powers of x you will not get the indicial equation right the important point is that okay so be careful at this point so when i equate the powers of x to the power minus 1 from here i will get uh, a naught yes and from here i will get uh, r r minus 1 and from here i will get uh, twice r okay and from here i will not be getting the terms of x to the power r minus 1 because if you would n equal to 0, uh, you will get x to the power r plus 1. That will be the least term, power term obtained from third summation. It means that third summation is not giving you any term containing x to the power r minus 1. So that's why I have written here 0. Okay. So that will give you a naught and 
आर स्क्वेयर प्लस आर इक्वल टू जीरो एंड यू नो दैट दिस ए नॉट इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस हैज टू बी जीरो आर स्क्वेयर प्लस आर इक्वल टू जीरो दिस इज इंडाइशियल इक्वेजन एंड ऑन सॉल्विंग इट यू विल गेट माइनस वन एंड जीरो राइट सो यू कैन सी दैट द रूट्स आर डिस्टिंग बट दे आर डिफरिंग बाय एंटीजर सो वी हैव टू गो टू केस नंबर थ्री सो दिस इज चेक स्टेप आर वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू आर टू एंड इफ यू सब्जेक्ट देम यू आर गेटिंग एन इंटीजर राइट बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई विच इज आर स्टार एंड इंटिवली द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑफ दीज टू इज माइनस वन आई थिंक दिस विल बी आर स्टार बट आई विल नॉट डिक्लेयर एट दिस पॉइंट आई विल चेक दैट सो कंपेयरिंग द next highest power or yeah next highest power i have to uh, equate one more power of x in order to check that uh, whether a1 is indeterminate of or not generally a1 or a2 becomes indeterminate right it is not like that you get a10 indeterminate because that will require a more amount of computation so it is always good to equate these next highest powers of x that is x power r right okay so equate Uh, next highest power that will be uh, coefficients of x to the power r right and from here uh, i will be getting x to the power r if i put n equal to 1 so that will give you a1 1 plus r and this will become r right and from here i will get x to the power r if i put n equal to 1 so that will produce twice uh 1 plus r right and from here uh, can i get x to the power r no if i want to obtain x to the power r i have to put n equal to minus 1 and that is not possible so this term will give you nothing zero equal to zero right and this will give you a1 and this will become r square r plus r 2 3r Plus two equal to zero. Should I factorize it? Yes, it will become r plus one r plus two equal to zero. Now this is very important point. You have to verify or you have to identify which is your r star. You can see that if I put r equal to zero here, you will get a one equal to zero. This is no problem. You have to uh, identify which value of r. Um, when substituted here, uh, giving is giving you a one as indeterminate, right? So, as I did in my last example, that I made two choices of a, like this, right? I will not do that here here because I have I am going to use this time the shortcut formula, and to use that shortcut formula, only identifying r star is sufficient. So I will just identify my my r star, right? So you can see that. clearly clearly a1 becomes 0 upon 0 or indeterminate that is 0 by 0 at r star equal to minus 1 right so my intuition was correct the least value of r becomes r star generally right so this is my r star right now what i will do i will equate the further uh, coefficients of x or should i obtain the recurrence relation there are two ways actually right mm, what should i do i i should obtain the recurrence relation this time but whether i will be able to obtain the recurrence relation because in my last example i was not able to obtain the recurrence relation due to the fact that all visible powers of x were same but here we are having different powers these are same but this is different so we hope that we will obtain a recurrence relation this time right so i will try to obtain the recurrence relation i will equate the highest visible highest powers of x equate coefficients of the visible highest coefficient is x to the power n plus r plus 1 right of all these summations now I, what i will do uh, from first term whether i will be obtaining n plus r plus 1 yes for that i have to put n equal to n plus 2 i think yeah if i substitute n equal to n plus 2 uh, then i will get this term right so that will give me a n plus 2 from
from here I will get n plus 2 plus r from here I will get n plus 2 plus r that will become n plus 1 plus r from here I will get twice and here also I have to put n equal to n plus 2 and that will give you a n plus 2 n plus 2 plus r and from here this is already x to 1 plus r from here I will obtain a n okay equal to 0 right so from here I can obtain a recurrence relation a n plus 2 equal to should I take this here okay and if I take common n plus 2 plus r n plus 2 plus r is taken common then you will be having n plus 1 plus r plus 2 that will be n plus 1 plus r plus 3 so n plus r plus 2 n plus r plus 3 on simplification right so this is a recurrence relation a recurrence relation and using this recurrence relation what I will do I will find the values of uh, a1 okay up to a1 I have found that a2 it means that put n equal to 0 I will obtain a2 in terms of minus a naught over that will become um, I have substituted n equal to 0 that will become r plus 2 r plus 3 right put uh, n equal to 1 that will give you a3 equal to minus a1 over r plus 3 r plus 4 right okay and n equal to 2 a4 equal to minus a2 over r plus 4 r plus 5 right and since I already know the value of a2 a2 is this value so I plug this value here that will become a naught over r plus uh, 2 r plus 3 r plus 4 r plus 5 right okay I need one more value I think how much values a naught a1 a2 a3 a4 okay one more value n equal to 3 a5 will be equal to uh, if I put n equal to 3 here that will produce minus of a3 over r plus 5 r plus 6 and that will give you the value of a3 is this so a1 over r plus 3 r plus 4 r plus 5 r plus 6 now these coefficients are sufficient to get the series right note that I have only considered r star right you can leave that another value of r right because this time I am going to use that shortcut solution evaluated at r star only. equation 1 this becomes y equal to x to the power r a naught is not known a1 is indeterminate a1 is indeterminate that's why a1 is a1 right that will be a kind of arbitrary constant a2 is known what is a2 where is a2 a2 is minus a naught x square over r plus 2 r plus 3 then a3 a3 is also known a1 x cube over r plus 3 r plus 4 then a4 is already known a4 is a naught x to the power 4 over r plus 2 r plus 3 r plus 4 r plus 5 and one more term a5 a5 is a1 x to the power 5 or r plus 3 r plus 4 r plus 5 and r plus 6 right and so on okay now we can see that uh, these a naught can be taken common and these a1 can be taken common right so that will give you y is equal to x to the power r right and uh, yeah a not taken common 1 minus x square over r plus 2 r plus 3 and plus x to the power 4 over r plus 2 r plus 3 r plus 4 r plus 5 okay 
and uh, yeah this is one series and other will be a1 times x minus x cube over r plus 3 r plus 4 plus x to the power 5 times uh, divided by r plus 3 r plus 4 r plus 5 r plus 6 and so on right now the complete solution will be y is equal to y evaluated at r star and we have already decided what is our r star r star is actually equal to minus 1 right so i'll put r equal to minus 1 here and that will be my complete solution right so putting r equal to minus 1 will give you y is equal to x to the power minus 1 okay a naught 1 minus this will become uh, 2 x square over 2 factorial and putting minus 1 here it will give you 4 3 2 1 4 factorial 4 factorial and so on and second series a1 times x minus putting minus 1 here will give you 3 into 2 yeah 3 factorial and another will be 5 factorial right and uh, yeah you can see that this is a familiar series of cos and this is for sine right so this time we are able to get a closed series x okay and this is your a naught cos x plus a1 sin x so this is a solution is complete solution right so this is how a Frobenius series method works in case when you get distinct values of r but they differ by an integer value right note that only one solution is sufficient and that one solution you can see that i have evaluated that first solution evaluated at r star we have forgot that r equal to zero we are not considering that r because writing the solution for r equal to zero will produce a solution that has already occurred in this solution right so there is no point to overwrite that solution corresponding to the uh, next value of r right so this is it for this video in the next video we will be uh, discussing the case when one of the coefficient ai becomes infinity at one of the values of r just similar to this case in this case uh, one of the coefficient becomes indeterminate but in case 4 one of the coefficients become infinity right so that will be the part of our next video for this video thanks